everyone. Um, today is Friday, November 22nd, and welcome to another Knitting Pastor vlogcast. So I am Heather, uh, your host, and um, for those of you who are coming back, thank you so much for coming back and checking me out for another week. For those of you who are new here, welcome. I will tell you a little bit about what the format of this podcast is if you are new, because this is not a traditional podcast. It's probably more of a vlog. I call it a vlogcast because it's kind of like a mashup between the two. Um, I do have a couple times like at the beginning and the end where I sit down and I record like a longer video clip but the rest of it throughout the week um, is more like short videos of what's going on in my life. And of course I'm sitting down to record and the sun is starting to come out and I have a big uh, Siding gas door right there. So now all of a sudden the sun is shining on me. So it wasn't like that before and it's probably going to go behind a cloud again in just a minute. Um, so I'm Heather. Uh, I am a United Methodist pastor of two small member congregations in um, mid-Michigan. I live near one of those churches that I serve um, in a parsonage, which is a home owned by the church with my two children. Abby, who is 14 and a freshman in high school, and my son Philip, who is um, nine and in the fourth grade, and our Rhodesian Ridgeback Flint. So welcome. Thank you for thank you for being here with me today. Um, today is really nice because this is the first Friday that I have had in quite a while where I don't need to do any homework. I don't need to do anything to catch up on being behind for churches. So I am really kind of taking today as a bit of a me day because I really, really need that really bad. And Advent is starting really soon and Vlogmas. Um, so I need a little bit of a, a little bit of a day for myself. Um, if you are just checking me out for the first time, so in addition to being a pastor and a mom, um, I am also a student. So I am attending seminary part-time uh, to get my Master's of Divinity degree, and my seminary is located in Evanston, Illinois, which is not all that near where I live. Um, so I do a lot of coursework online um, and intensives and things like that kind of try to make this all work. So I have a very hectic, busy life, which is why this format uh, works really well for me because I don't have a ton of a ton of free time that I can sit down and record and edit a podcast. So this is what I do. This is what works. Um, yeah, so next week is Thanksgiving, which I can't believe I'm not sure where, where any of the time went. Um, I it was like just just Halloween. So Thanksgiving is next week. That's a little bit... It feels soon. It's not because it's late this year, so it's not even soon. Um, my kids do not have school all next week, um, but we are going to be doing some decorating for Christmas uh, because the f December 1st is the first Sunday in Advent, um, which in the church calendar is the beginning of the church year and kind of an important time of the year. And um, in the past two years, I've only been a pastor for two and a half years, um, but the past two Advents, the first Sunday of Advent, I've had an open house in my home and invited both of my churches to come and I have food and we just kind of have some time to talk and be together and socialize. So I'll be doing that next Sunday. So we're gonna be getting ready for that by decorating and cleaning and doing all of those things. And then it will also be Thanksgiving um, and I'll have the kids for that as well. So I'll have them with me pretty much the whole week, which will be really nice. And we're all looking forward to sleeping in. That will be very nice. And I also don't have to do anything for classes. Also nice. Um, one of my classes is officially over. I handed in my big final paper this past week. Um, so I am super glad that that is done and over with because that was definitely taking up a lot of brain space and a lot of time. <laughs> so that's over and it just felt like a weight came off me when I submitted that paper. So it was, it was good to have that done. So instead of just babbling and rambling again and the sun has come back out and it's like probably washing me out really bad, I can't see what I look like right now um, because the sun is really bright. 
But I am going to share with you a little bit what I have been knitting on. Um, it's not all that exciting, to be perfectly honest with you. I have been working on the vanilla socks that I always have going, and I can't remember if I had finished the first one or not. Well, I'm doing an afterthought heel. So I have one done. And then the second one, um, I'm not all that far on. This is as far as I've gotten on the second one. And I think I'm going to give these to Abby. They're, um, they're kind of her jam. When I'll finish them is anybody's guess. Who knows? Uh, these are usually things that I take with me to work on when I'm waiting for the kids and to get off the bus or if we go to a movie or a band concert or the other thing that I was working on these at was a couple of musicals um, that we had gone to last weekend because of friends of Abby's or one of my parishioners uh, was in one of them as well. So been work haven't really worked a ton on that. What I've really been working on um, is going to be kind of hard to show. It's in this bag, if you can see in there, and it is all of these mini socks. There's still some in here. Um, these are just little tiny socks that I have been knitting as an advent calendar to gift. Um, this. All of the yarn is from Molly of a Homespun House, her advent calendar last year. Um, that's where all of this yarn has come from. So this is what I have been working on all week. Um, I haven't knit all of these in a week. I've probably knit like these in the past week. I don't remember where I was. I only have three more to do, which is good because as fun as little tiny socks are, I'm kind of getting tired of knitting little tiny socks. So I'm ready to have these be done. There's a couple more in here. Two more. Yeah. So here we go. There's 22 of them so far. I am doing 25 because there was a big skein that came. So a ton of little tiny socks for an advent calendar. And then once I finish knitting them, I'm writing little notes and sticking in there and I think I'm gonna put a Hershey Kiss in there as well. Um, so this is what I have been working on like almost exclusively. So even those socks, except for being at the musical, I knit on those in the musical because these are so small that I couldn't really work on them in the dark because I'd be getting to either a heel or a toe in the dark. And I cannot do a heel flap and gusset in the dark. I could probably do a toe minus the Kitchener in the dark, but not a heel flap and gusset. So those have been happening. Like I said, I have three more to finish, which I will easily be able to have done before Advent starts on December 1st. So easily be able to have that done and that'll be good. But I think because I kind of need something else besides just those little tiny socks that I'm going to cast on um, the Homebody socks by Helen Stewart of A Curious Handmaid. Um, this was one of her knit vent patterns. Um, these are the socks and I just really, really liked them. They are a DK weight sock um, and that will be, this will be a first for me, but they have a really cool, like, I think it's a faux cable uh, right here and then they're ribbed and I just think that they look really, really nice. And I want a DK weight pair of socks. Um, and I have some extra DK weight yarn, like this is the skein that I'm going to use. Um, this was left over from my Comfort Fade cardigan, which I finished just last week. This was one of the colors. It's from Goosey Fibers. It's called Stardust. And I also had the teal color, if you remember from last time that was in there. But I was afraid that the teal would be too dark and that the pattern would get lost. So I'm going to go with a slighter color. I've never knit a pair of DK weight socks before, so the real question is going to be what size needles do I use and what stitch count do I use? I think I'm going to use 44 stitches and a US 5 because I have a pretty tight gauge and she has it written for a US 3 and I kind of, on my Comfort Fade cardigan, I took, I looked at the gauge 
for the sleeves because that's stockinette in the round. And I think a five will be what I need to get to get gauge. So that could be kind of kind of a work in progress and trying to figure out where exactly I'm gonna fit. It's the size small. And I think that's the same. I think it's the comparable size in her fingering weight socks that I normally knit. So that's kind of kind of how I'm basing this. But we'll see. I might have to adjust it, which is fine because it's it's DK weight and it'll probably go super fast. So that's on the plan. I'm gonna get this kicked up uh, today so that I would like to get these cast on. Um, and then my goal is for the next three days knit a mini sock and work on these, and I'll be happy. So. Um, so December 1st is coming up soon, um, and I do plan on doing Vlogmas this year. So when I'm doing Vlogmas, there won't be these because I'll be vlogging every day and putting a video up every day. So the vlog cast will be on hold until after Christmas. Um, well, probably it after the new year, but I will, I am planning on doing Vlogmas. So you can, if you like that and are looking forward to that, um, that's that's going to be happening. And I did purchase an advent calendar from um, Nicole of Hugh Loco, and I am going to be knitting um, from the knit vent this year, the blanket, which I can't remember what it's called right now, that uh, Helen Stewart put out with her knit vent this year as my advent project, because we are really low on blankets because Flint went through this period where he decided to chew and eat the blankets that I use. Not like completely, just rip the edges. So we could kind of use a new blanket that he does not get. Because I would not be very happy if he chewed up a blanket I knit. I'd be pretty, pretty unhappy actually. Um, so that's, that is my plan for knitvent, for knit, no, advent, there we go, words, for the advent calendar this year. So that's all I'm gonna that's all I'm gonna say right now, but I will check in with you guys again a little bit later. Hi guys, good morning. It's uh, Saturday, November 23rd, and I just wanted to pop on real quick this morning and say hello, and um, I wanted to show you, so I did decide last night, or well yesterday, to cast on the home body socks, and so I thought I'd show you my progress on those. I've finished this pattern section, and now I'm just kind of onto the rest of the leg. These, because they're DK weight, have been knitting up super fast. I think the fit will be okay. I pulled the cuff on over my leg and it was a little, a little snug going over the heel. Um, so, but I think, I think that they are going to be okay. When I get a little bit more of the leg done, I'm going to try it on my foot again and see what happens there. Um, if it turns out that it's just too tight, then I think what I might do is um, maybe go up a size because, yeah, maybe go up a size. But I don't want them to be too big. So that's my, my concern about going up a size with these is them becoming too big. But I don't know. So that may be what ends up happening, but we will see, because like I said, I they do go over my foot. Um, it's just a little tight going across my heel. So these have been done. I have cast on um, my next little tiny sock, and I'm gonna work on that today um, when I have, have time, because I need to, I have three more to do. So if I do one a day, I'll be done in plenty of time before the first day of Advent which is next Sunday. So I've got plenty of time to get these guys done. So that, these will wait until that sock is done, but I can do that in a couple of hours. And I will be going to Philip's swim lesson today. He is at his dad's this weekend, but he, we started swim lessons for him to give him something to do um, because I, he just can't be on the computer all the time and he needs some sort of activity because he's a nine-year-old boy. So we started swim lessons and he's enjoying them, but he wanted me to come to the lesson this week because I had to have someone else take him. Last week I had a big meeting and I wasn't able to take him. So he wants me to come, so I said I would. So I'm gonna go in um, and go to his swim lesson this morning. And then I have to meet with someone in the afternoon. Um, but other than that, it's just gonna be 
Well, I already print out all my stuff for tomorrow, so that's all done. I do have a couple little papers to write for my other class, um, but those really don't take much effort. So that's, that's going to be my Saturday, pretty low key, not a whole lot to worry about. So um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Good morning, guys. It's Sunday, November 24th, and I just wanted to pop on real quick and say good morning before I head off to do my church services this morning. I am looking at a pretty busy Sunday. I've got my two church services, which is normal. <laughs> and then um, because the first Sunday of Advent is next week, we are going to be decorating the churches for Christmas. I won't be able to help decorate at the one church because I have to leave and do the second service, but I will be hanging around to do that. And then I'm going to have to go visit a person um, in a nursing home nearby who sounds like her life is kind of coming to a close. So I need to go get over there. and. Um, see her even if she's not coherent I still need to to be in there and pop in at least for a little while so um there's a lot kind of on my plate uh for this morning and early afternoon uh hopefully I'll be back home um by mid-afternoon and can kind of rest a little bit before Philip comes home from his dad's this evening the good news is there is no school next week so we should have a pretty restful week I don't have anything to do for my classes, the kids don't have to go to school, so we'll all be able to get a little bit of extra sleep. There are still things going on that we'll have to attend to, but for the most part it won't be too bad. So I am off to church and I will talk to you guys later. Hi guys, good morning. It is Wednesday, um, November 27th. and. Um, it's we here in Michigan that big storm that has been sweeping across the US um, that has not given us snow um, it gave us a lot of rain and a lot of thunderstorms last night um, but it is Wednesday Thanksgiving Eve and um, I just wanted to check in with you guys because I haven't for a couple of days so I thought I'd just pop on and say hello um, you may notice that I'm not wearing my glasses and that is because yesterday, on Tuesday, I had an eye doctor appointment. And um, the reason that I was wearing glasses, my left eye, totally fine. 2020 vision, I can see crystal clear out of my left eye. Right eye has a cataract. So up until about two and a half years ago, I didn't need glasses at all because both of my eyes were perfect. But the right eye developed a cataract. They think because of some of the medications that I was on for asthma. I was using several inhalers to get a pretty bad asthma attack under control, and they think that that's where the cataract came from. So the right eye went blurry, and then I started to wear the glasses. Well, I went to the eye doctor, and the right eye had been getting worse and worse, and um, I kind of knew that things were not going real well with that eye because my glasses didn't work at all. <laughs> like, not at all. It didn't matter if I wore them or not. I couldn't see out of my right eye. It was really blurry. So the left eye dominated everything. Well, when they um, did my eyes, it turns out the right eye cataract has progressed so badly that I do need to have cataract surgery to have that removed. So they're referring me over to a surgeon. I'm not sure when any of this will happen, um, but I'm getting referred to a surgeon and they're going to have to take off the cataract. So the eye doctor said that I don't even need to bother wearing my glasses because they don't really do me any good. So I'm not wearing them right now. I may put them back on just because I've gotten used to wearing them, um, but I'm going to try not wearing them for a little while and see how it goes. So that's why there are no glasses on my face. <laughs> um, so today... I have got to do some work because I do have to still give a sermon on Sunday, but that's written and taken care of. But I do need to get some work done. Um, I need to make something for dinner tomorrow. We're going to drive over to my cousin's and have dinner there with my family. Um, and I need to work on starting to clean my house because I'm having an Advent open house here this weekend. And also I will keep working on my homebody socks. This is my progress so far. Um, I'm about two-thirds of the way done with the foot. So I will probably finish this sock today. And this is how it's turning out. Um, 
so I'm gonna keep I'll keep working on those as well and I think we're going to decorate a Christmas tree so that's kind of what's on the cards for today I'll talk to you guys a little these are the 25 little socks for the advent calendar and it is finally done and they're gonna get stuffed in just a few minutes November 28th if you're in the United States it is it is our Thanksgiving so I just want to wish everyone a very happy Thanksgiving and I hope all of you are gonna have a really nice day and gonna get to spend time with family or friends or whoever it is that makes you feel loved and appreciated and thankful in your life if you are not in the United States I still hope you have a really great day anyway um, and that you're still able to take a minute and enjoy yourself our day today is um, we're gonna go over to my cousin's house and have Thanksgiving dinner there. Um, it will be a small gathering, just my two cousins and then my mom, my brother, and the kids and I because a lot of my family is in Florida. So um, it'll be a small, small group. Um, if you can't kind of tell from the heart and then there's some stuff over here on the videos earlier, we had a really nice night last night. We decorated for Christmas and we got the Christmas tree up and we got stuff out. Um, because I am having my open house on Sunday, I still have to do quite a bit of cleaning when preparing for that, um, but that's going to be tomorrow and Saturday. So, um, yeah, I just hope all of you have a really nice, a really nice Thanksgiving and a really nice day and weekend if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving. So I will talk to you guys a little bit. Hi guys! So it is now Friday, November 29th, Black Friday in the United States, which is a crazy shopping day that I refuse to participate in. Um, I just, I hate it. I hate the concept of it. And I just, I, I refuse to go to a store at all on Friday. So um, I'm not doing that at all, unless I absolutely have to which I don't think I have to, so I'm not going to do it. I, um, it just bothers, I, as I'm getting older, the commercialism of Christmas bothers me more and more. Um, so we're kind of minimizing that a little bit. However, um, I do love Christmas. I think it's a really wonderful, positive time of year, and, um, so I still enjoy getting involved in Christmas festivities. I just don't like the shopping part of it. Um, so yeah, uh, so yesterday was Thanksgiving. Uh, we had a nice one. We went to my cousin's and um, was with some of my family, so that was nice. And then we came back home and um, I did some knitting and watched some knitting podcasts. And um, that, was, that was pretty much it. So I wanted to wrap this vlog up this week, um, today, because Sunday is December 1st and that will be starting Vlogmas, so I wanted to get this posted before Vlogmas time came. I am looking forward to doing Vlogmas again. It will be my third year doing it, 
and um, it's been kind of fun to go back and rewatch some of them from the past and just kind of see what was what's been going on and um, so I'm gonna do that again this year and I'm looking forward to that and I hope that you guys will enjoy that as well um, I did want to show you my knitting and what I've been doing I did finish my advent little mini socks and I did give those already. Um, so I put in a video earlier in the footage that showed you those, so I can't show them to you again. But those I did finish. Um, and yeah, so those are done. Um, the only thing I, I have little bits of scraps left with that, that will either, if I have enough, it'll be a square in my cozy memory blanket or will go into a magic nutball for the granny stripe blanket. Which I need to get those out and work on them some more, especially right now, because it's just, I've kind of been in the mood for that and I just haven't pulled them out. So the other thing that I was working on uh, were my homebody socks. I did cast those on and I have one done. This is the first one. I don't know where my sock blockers are at. I did some rearranging of knitting stuff and I'm not sure where I put them. So um, I'm going to have to show you this to you, not on the sock blockers, but this is the pattern um, that is like on the top of the leg and then it is just a ribbing all the way down um, I did the heel flap and gusset and it's a rounded toe Which is my toe of choice The cuff is a one by one regular rib. I usually do a twisted rib, but I because of the ribbing on the pattern itself and The fact that it's it's still ribbed here at the top with this like faux cable. I did as the pattern called for and did not do a tw twisted rib because I just wanted to stay true to the pattern. And in fact, I don't know that I made any modifications to the pattern because even the toe was a rounded toe. I don't think I made any modifications. So this is the first home body sock. And the second one, um, because these are DK, they knit super, super fast. Um, I am finishing up with the gusset on the second one. So I've got the leg all done and now I am finishing up the gusset and will be onto the foot. And I could very well finish these bad boys off today. Um, they are snug on my foot. It, it was one of those things because I've never done a DK sock. I had to kind of f figure out what my perfect sock recipe was. And these are 44 stitches and I'm using a US 5 to knit them. I have a very tight gauge, by the way, so I always have to go up one or two, sometimes even more needle sizes than what patterns call for to get the proper gauge. Um, usually with the designers that I know and I knit a lot of, um, I know what, the, what, how many I have to go up based on what their gauge is. But, I had to go up two needle sizes for these because the pattern calls for a US 3. I'm not sure what that is on millimeters right now, I apologize, um, but I'm using a, a 5. So I think I will get these finished up this week. I am excited because I'll get to start my advent calendar and I am going to knit from Knitvent this year uh, Helen Stewart's, it's called the Habitation Throw. This is the pattern right here from her knit vent this year and this is the one designed for um, an advent calendar so this will be my advent project this year and I don't know what else I may be working on I may just work on finishing up those scraps from last year's calendar and getting them into blankets so that they're totally gone as I'm preparing for next year's or I may cast on another project I'm not sure yet we will see what happens. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. Vlogmas will be starting in a couple of days, so I don't feel like I need to say a whole lot more other than watch this space for that, because I do plan to do that every day. Uh, that was a lot of fun, and um, I'm really hoping no sick and Christmas this year. Years crossed. So I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving for you who are here in the United States. For those of you who are not in the United States or celebrating Thanksgiving, I hope you've had a wonderful week and that you will have a great weekend. And I hope you too are looking forward to the Christmas season and to Vlogmas and all that comes with it. So I will see you guys in a couple of days. Bye.